And while the Senate works to soften the blow for the American people, lawmakers on both sides of the aisles want to hold the Chinese regime to account. There are now at least three initiatives making their way through the House and Senate. It seems the Chinese Communist Party may soon have the full weight of Congress to deal with. Three separate initiatives across the House and Senate are being spun up. The first is a bipartisan House resolution condemning Beijing's handling of the virus outbreak. It's co-led by Republican Jim Banks and Democrat Seth Moulton. The resolution details the regime's cover-up. It cites a study which found if China took action three weeks earlier, the spread of coronavirus would have been reduced by 95 percent globally. China should pay a severe price for that negligence, for their role in the matter of allowing this to happen. The resolution has so far seen endorsement from over 30 co-sponsors. The second action is Senator Josh Hawley's resolution for a full investigation of the CCP's lies and actions that killed thousands of their own people and turned the CCP virus into a global pandemic. The senator says Beijing should pay damages to the rest of the world for their criminal conduct. He said the resolution would be introduced sometime on Tuesday. The third action is a request by three senators that President Trump create a task force to combat Chinese communist propaganda surrounding the virus. The task force would be under the National Security Council. The Chinese regime has doubled down on its anti-American propaganda. It initially suggested the American military brought the virus to Wuhan. It's now blaming President Trump directly. There is no evidence of the virus originating anywhere but Wuhan, China. The task force would, one, produce a white paper on the origins of COVID-19 and how the CCP worked to conceal it, and two, provide guidance to U.S. government employees on messaging surrounding COVID-19 and how to counter false CCP narratives about its origins.